So let's get started installing Unity, our game engine. And to do that, you're just going to go over to the website www.unity3d.com. And as the time that this is being recorded, Unity 2017.1 has just come out. Uh, hopefully by the time you're actually watching this, Unity 2017.2 or above will come out. So Unity 2017.1 has a few bugs that need to be fixed. You can follow along with this tutorial using Unity 5.6 as well for the most part. There'll be one or two small things you won't be able to do, possibly near the end, but it won't affect your overall game. Now as far as Unity 4 goes, Unity 4 is still out there, there's still some people using it, but I, I highly recommend you don't use it for a new project because it's so old. So really you should start in Unity uh, 2017 because this is, you know, you want to future proof as best as possible. So all you're going to do is just click Get Unity, and it's going to slowly bring you to another screen. And you can get the Unity Personal Free Edition. You don't need to get the Plus Edition. If you get your game farther along and you want to publish it out for a paid version, you can go ahead and get the Plus version, which is $35 a month. But for now, you just use the Personal version. It includes virtually everything that the free, the paid one does. The paid one just has a little more customization as far as the uh, splash screen goes and some more performance type things that um, like analytics and stuff like that but it won't actually affect your game in any way so go ahead and download that and then install it onto your system and I'm not going to make you watch me do that whole step so I've already got unity here installed so when you open up unity it's going to look like this and as you can see I already have a bunch of uh, projects open so what you want to do is just make sure you choose project on the disk and start a new project and you can give this any kind of name you want And, you know, I'm just going to call mine, for example, hack and slash. Make sure you've got it set to 3D. We're making a 3D game, not a 2D. We don't need to add any asset packs. We'll add them later if we need to. And we can just leave uh, enable Unity Analytics on. You can turn it off if you want. And then you're just going to go create project. Unity will probably take a few seconds to load here as it compiles everything for the first time. And that's it. So this is the general Unity screen, and we're going to get into this a little bit more, but the first thing I'm going to do is just close the Services tab by clicking here in the corner and then just closing Tab so it doesn't annoy me. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and get our assets from the Assets Store, so that'll be in the next video.